hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel and today i wanted to do a little grocery store haul and show you what's in my bag as a zero waste person so for the first bag i have all of my produce and let's see we got some ooh, some yummy kale and then we got some little broccoli those greens are just so nice we have a whole stock of celery all these greens just look at them so beautiful then we got a little tiny cucumber because those are a great snack and who could forget a bunch of cilantro that's literally probably the best ingredient and so many people don't like cilantro i just don't understand i absolutely love cilantro but just look at that kale and that broccoli wow absolutely stunning <laughs> so that's my first bag that one's super easy to be zero waste because you could just skip out on getting those plastic grocery bags those individual produce bags you know and just use none <laughs> i want to get those little mesh bags so i could put my produce in there because i always have to thoroughly clean my bag because all the greens and all that stuff and it's all wet so i just wish i had those bags but I don't need them right now. I'm not desperate, so it's all good right now. Okay, for the second bag, it's a little different. This is where I have most of my jarred items. So let me show you the package things that I got. I'm not proud of, but it's all about limiting. So I got this um, vegan meat lovers pizza. It's all meatless. I've never really tried it or anything, so I'm just trying it out to see how it tastes like because it's imitation meat and stuff. Spencer and I recently went to this vegan pizza place in LA. Absolutely delicious. Um, I forgot the name of it, but I'll link it in the description box below. If you guys live in LA, it's in Los Feliz. I think that's how I said it, and I think that's the name. Not sure. Just look in the description box. <laughs> Anyways, um, the pizza that we tried was delicious, so I wanted to see if I, this pizza is just like or kind of similar to the pizza that we got in LA just so I could have a quick and easy meal if I'm running out of time um, then I got these super seed crackers lots of vegans talk about these in their videos on YouTube so I just thought I should try it out um, but yeah and now to the jarred zero waste items we got some yummy banana chips in this little peach jar <laughs> we got some raw trail mix mm -mm -mm. You could also get some vegan chocolate chips and throw it in there. Just a suggestion. <laughs> and then I got some oatmeal for breakfast instead of getting those individual, um, you know, oatmeal packets. Those are all like paper packets, but still, it's better to get it in bulk. And last but not least, I got some golden raisins for my grandma because she loves golden raisins and she asked for it. So I just got a small little jar. So when you're shopping zero waste and in the bulk section, it's crucial to write the weight on the jar at the very top. You see how I wrote 0.97, and then this one's 0.69, and then this one's 0.78. So, so like some places, their computers aren't as advanced as others. So some places it's really easy to just subtract the weight of the jar and all that kind of stuff. But other places like the Sprouts that's closest to my house is a little more manual and it takes longer for them to do it. Write a list of all of the things that you got next to the SKU numbers of each item. Don't forget the SKU number. So I always bring a Sharpie and this little list and I write down what I got because some places super fast and easy, but if you don't know the SKU number, you'll have to run back or they'll have to try to look it up and it just takes longer. So just be considerate with the workers and the people behind you because it's not fun holding up the line, especially if you have anxiety, shopping anxiety, any of that kind of stuff. So be considerate, always write down the SKU numbers and always write down the weight of the jar. So in the beginning of the trip, if I got a new jar, like say this one was new today, I went to the front in the beginning and I had them weigh the jar and I wrote it down with my Sharpie. So yeah, it also helps you when you bring your jars because you know you're going to the bulk. It helps you to remember to bring your bags, which is good. So you'll never really forget. So that's awesome. And those are my tips for how to shop bulk and just my little shopping haul. So I hope you guys enjoy and yeah. 
like this video subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see any more shopping hauls just let me know and i'll get that for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time peace out guys mm -hmm.